Hello and guten Tag. My name is Max and this is Make and Modify and this is a video tutorial on parametric design inside of Fusion. In this video we will go over how to design a box like this where you can set every parameter like um, the number of cells in each direction. For example, let's say five in the X direction, one more or five in the Y direction. Um, the box size, the wall thickness, the height and everything right inside here. And then you just have to export your STL and print it. Um, this is very handy, but it's not that easy. Um, in the process of making this box, I also ran into some Fusion specific <laughs> things that don't work as great in Fusion for now. Um, and you have to work around it. But I'll show you how I do this and I left this in on purpose so um, you can learn from my mistakes and don't have to do them yourself. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So here we go. If you know exactly what you want to do, um, you can set your variables if you don't find this button here. It is, you can find it here and add it to the toolbar. If you know exactly what you want to do, you can set your variables here before you start. I could do this, but I think you get the point better if I add the parameters later. So let's start. Um, we have a blank document and first of all, we will do a rectangle. You can click here or on the menu as always rectangle or hit R. I will use a lot of shortcuts. Um, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, you might follow this. So I want my boxes to be, um, let's say for now, 10 by 20. Um, this is my, my base cell. And then I want to make uh, a whole lot of them. So I will go to rectilinear pattern, select my four outer lines. Yeah, and then you see you can pull this out and um, yeah, this must be set to spacing or if you ex have exact, um, this works now, but if you want to make it parametric, it's easier to go with spacing. Yeah, I want these boxes to be one millimeter apart. So I set this to 21 and on top, also one millimeter apart, which means 11. So, and then I would like to have, let's say four on the Y and three on the X. Okay. So now this is a grid for our boxes. Now we need an outer wall. I again hit R for rectangle and pull this out that way. And then at some dimensions, um, you can go to uh, well, right click and say, uh, where is it? Ah, just hit D. Um, let's set this, yeah, two millimeters sounds good for the outer wall. Also two millimeters for this. And yeah, then we could reference to this wall but we won't do this as, ah, I will show you what happens if we say this is two. And then we would change a parameter and say, yeah, we want um, three in the width. It would still um, go to this wall and that is not what we want. Um, so we will leave this out for now. It's not defined. This is why it's blue. So now we can set our first parameters. Um, you can exit the sketch or stay in there. Anyways, go to change parameters and then we can add our, our parameters. Let's say we start with the number of cells we want. I say X cell for the X direction. This has no units and this is three for now. Say okay. Then we have Y cell no units, four, 
Um, what else did we set? Um, we set our cell width and cell height. Also, see. Ah, sorry, wrong field. CE width, um, which is 20, and it's millimeter, and CE height, which is 10. Okay, so what's next? The wall between there, um, I would call this cell spacing, cell spacing. And this is one millimeter. And our outer wall, outer wall is two millimeter. Um, so this is all the dimensions we need for 2D. And then we need, of course, a floor later. You could add this later, but I will add this now. Um, yeah, say floor. Height is one millimeter, and um, the overall height I will just call it height is yeah, let's say 15 for now. So now we have all our parameters, all these can be changed if you double click them. Um, yeah, okay, so now we parameterize this. Um, yeah, let's start with the width. Double click your um, dimension and then just hit C and there are all your things. You can say this is the width and hit enter. Now you see an FX, which means it's parametric. Same for the height, C height, enter, yes. Um, this is our wall, um, outer wall to be exact. Um, outer wall and this is also our outer wall yes so um, now we have this now to the yeah most complicated part I guess <laughs> so this is our um, X uh, no this is X cell yes oh not hit enter there so X cell, this is Y cell, and then we need our spacing, which is basically for the X directions, our C width plus, um, plus our wall, um, C wall, nee. What was the name? <laughs> spacing? Yeah, C spacing. Okay, so this is our width, which is 20 plus 1, which is the wall, stayed the same. Okay, now here we have the heights plus C spacing again. Yes, and yeah, okay, that's all we need for now for this dimension and then yeah okay this is the heaviest part so this measurement is what is it it is two times our outer wall two times our outer wall plus x cell times our cell width so can we do this a bit bigger? Um, we can, nah, okay, um, yeah. That's basically it. So we need two times our wall, our, oh no, not X, yeah. <laughs> Still a mistake, okay. Two times our outer wall, the number of cells times their width, and then we still are missing our walls inside there which is, uh, sorry, which is plus, uh, we need brackets there for our, so what we need is the walls in between. These are the number of 
cells minus one, which is in this case x cell uh, minus one, close the bracket times the spacing. Yeah, that's it basically. We have our spacing, take this times their numbers of cells, minus one, and then this should have two millimeters. Yes, okay. <laughs> now repeat this for the height. Um, can we just copy and paste this part-wise? We can say copy. And then say paste. And there it is. X. Uh, y. Self. Um, and it's not the width. It's the height. And there it's also Y. And yeah. So that's the formula for this side. And this is the formula for the width. So this was really the hardest part. And now we're done. We can test this by um, changing our parameters. Like, um, let's say we want it to be four by four. If I click on the next, yeah, one was added. And now I want this to be 20 by 20, let's say. And it's 20 by 20. Great. So with this out of the way, we can now extrude this. Um, there's the extrude command and just select inside the, this uh, outer area here and say this is our height. Yes. So what's missing is the base or the floor or whatever. So click on this side and just hit R for rectangle. And now we have the problem that we later would have to select each and every cell in there. So um, pull across there, delete everything and hit R again, select this corner, select this corner and exit your sketch. So now when I hit E or say extrude and I say floor height, then I have my boxes and this should still be parametric. Um, we will test this. Let's say they are 15 by 15. Um, our cell spacing or our, our inner wall is now 1.5. Um, tab. Our yeah, outer wall is also 1.5. Um, yeah, and the height, of course, is 12, let's say. Um, you also have to add the um, floor height. You could subtract this, but for now um, I leave this as two and do the rest in my head. So let's change this to three, for example, and this one to five. And this did not work. Why did this not work? So let's have a look. What am I missing? So edit this, yeah, why? Hmm, yeah, I mean, I can change this by just selecting these, but if I say okay, and then I say okay, now for the other direction I will also want five, then this will happen again, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I hate it if something like this happens, but um, that's the way it is. Um, I think for me, I could live with this, but um, let's try to fix this. Um, how are we going to fix this? We go into our first sketch and we will, yeah, we will delete all our boxes except the first one. 
delete. So now these are Select these, make sure to select only the boxes. Um, delete those. Uh, um, if you pull from this direction, you see it's yellow. So this will select everything it crosses. Um, if you pull to the right, it will only select those areas which are completely selected or in th inside the area. So let's do it that way. And yeah, this does not look so great for now, but we will do another pattern, which is our rectangular pattern for features. This can be found here in pattern, rectangular pattern. And we say faces and we select our sites here inside. This is, this is now more a workaround, but uh, yeah, we have no other choice. We could do this in a sketch also, but this would be a bit hard maybe for you now. So yeah, again, spacing, say X cells, and we want a spacing of cell width plus cell spacing. And then for the other direction, um, yeah, now you have to pull this up. So this is negative, but whatever. This is Y cell and this is minus cell, um, cell height minus because negative. Um, cell spacing. So looks good. Say OK. And now it's fully parametric. Let's try again. So um, let me get this box over here. So now we have um, three by um, let's increase this number six. Yes, works again. 20 by 20, the spacing is one millimeter, outer wall is two, and the floor is okay. Let's say 10 for, for here. Yeah, this works. <laughs> okay, was a bit of workaround um, in a software like uh, SolidWorks. This would be a bit easier to do. Um, but hey, okay, we have fusion, fusion is free, so we won't complain. <laughs> so that's it. That is our box, fully parametric. I will upload you this file to the Thingiverse also with um, this box, I guess, and with a tutorial video, which you are currently watching. <laughs> so this was a bit of a tutorial. Um, I think there are enough good tutorials on Fusion on YouTube, but if you want me to make a specific tutorial on a topic you would like to see, let me know. I might actually do it. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or on the Thingiverse project, wherever you want. Um, and I see you in the next one. Leave me a like, hit subscribe, all that stuff. Bye.